Hello guys, in this video, I will be transforming this everyday Windows desktop to this cool yet minimalist outlook. Without wasting much time, we are going straight to the point. First thing you want to do is to hide the icons on your desktop. In order to do that, you just go to view and go to show desktop icons. As you can see, we don't have any more icons on our desktop, but not to worry, uh, you can repeat the procedure to get your icons back. The next thing we're going to do is to keep our taskbar clean by removing unwanted icons. For instance, if I don't need this particular icon on my desktop, just right click on it and unpin from taskbar. Alright, now go ahead and right click on taskbar, click on taskbar settings. Here we have options to toggle off whatever we don't need to appear on our taskbar. For example, I don't need this tax view to appear on my taskbar, so I'm just going to toggle it off. Same goes to widgets. Just going to toggle it off and for chat, I don't need it to appear down there on my tax bar. So I'm just going to toggle that off too. And lastly, I'm going to toggle off the touch keyboard. After doing that, I'll just proceed to X on this. Next thing you want to do is to right click on your desktop, go to personalize. Now we're going to change the color of this tax bar. By doing that, you just want to go up there to colors, click on that. Under choose your mode, expand the light select custom and here under choose your default windows mode go to the right side and select dark now we have this darker version of our tax bar right we just x on that next we're going to go on to our microsoft store just click on your microsoft store and you're going to search for rounded tb click on that and install once installation is complete just go ahead and open it and here you get this welcome to rounded tb just click ok and now i'm going to drag this down to the center we're going to make some changes here select dynamic mode select show system tray on hover select field tax bar when maximized and select field tax bar on alt plus tab um here on margin i'm just going to leave it the way it is now i'm going to slide the corner radius to 12. after doing that just click on apply now we have this centralized tax bar in the middle here and if you over onto the right side you're going to see the remaining part of your tax bar all right after doing that i um, may just proceed to x on the settings after doing that we'll proceed to the next step we'll go to our browser here i'm using google and here we have the required links um, which are required to be downloaded I'll be leaving all the links for you in the description all right and um here we have this wallpaper which i prepared for you guys and um you can use it or feel free to use any wallpaper of your choice proceed to download it and after download we're going to go to our download folder as you can see here we have this jpg file which we just downloaded among other files which are required for this procedure just highlight it right click on it and set as desktop background now as you can see we have this beautiful wallpaper on our desktop and obviously we're not done yet so we're going to add on back to our browser and here we're going to go on to rainmeter.net and we're just going to download rainmeter here just go ahead and click on the download icon there here in our downloads we already have this rainmeter application set up just highlight on it right click on it then run as administrator standard installation next install then finish now the installation is complete you're just going to proceed to close all the skins in order to do that just right click on it and select unload skin i'm going to do that for everything okay unload skin right click unload skin right click unload skin all right now that we've already installed remeter we'll proceed to install all the remeter skins now we we'll add them back to our browser the first remeter skin here is a mon remeter here in visualskins.com all you have to do is just scroll down here on the left side here just click on the icon there and download it and um, the next one is um, here in deviantheart.com guys ensure to create an account here first create an account and log in so you'll be able to download files from here all right now we have the simple clock remeter skin by starlander shout out to starlander and all you have to do is just click on the download icon to get these skin 
Now, still in DeviantHeart.com, we have the MII Power 2 by Abu46. Shout out to Abu46. And still the same way, just go onto this download icon and just click on it. And we head on to our next skin, which is in Deviant Art as well. And we have this Fountain of Colors by Alat Sombat. Shout out to Alat Sombat. Just click on it right there. I'm going to add on back to our download. Here we have all the skins which we just downloaded. Now we'll proceed to install by double clicking on it. Uh, starting with the Fountain of Colors, just select install. We'll go on to the next one, um, Simple Clock. Double click on that. And install. I installed, it might seem like nothing is happening, but just continue. Install. And same goes to the Monskin install. After installation, it may seem like nothing is happening. Just click on this arrow up here. Then you want to select this remeter icon. Just click on that. And here in the remeter, you're just going to select refresh all. Now, as you can see, we have all our skins right here. One after the other, we're going to be adding these skins to the desktop. So here I'm going to start with the MII power. Just expand it and expand power. You have B.ini and W.ini, B for black, W for white. So because I want the white, I'm just going to highlight on this and click on load. Now, as we can see, we have this power buttons up here. I don't need it to be up there. I'm just going to drag it down here. Okay. Okay. So that's it about our power buttons. So I'm just going to close it. And now we'll proceed to the next one, which is simple clock. Just expand that and expand classic version, select clock.ini and select load. As you can see, we have our clock right there. So I'm going to bring it down here. This one leads to problem here. We have this error in weather config. Now to solve this issue, all you have to do is to right click on your skin and select edit skin. And here you're going to delete everything that has to do with weather except the weather icon. So I light it and delete and uh, let me expand this so you get to see and we're going to scroll up a bit. Then you're going to take it from where it says measure weather all the way down here and delete. Just highlight and hit backspace twice. After doing that, just go into file and select save then X on this and you go back to your widget right click on it and refresh skin now as you can see this problem has been solved now if you're having issues with this chopped off letter right here just right click on it and refresh skin after doing all that just proceed to close the simple clock and we're going to proceed to the next skin which is um month i'm going to expand the month i'm going to select this clock then highlight clock.ini and click load now, as you can see, we have the day, we have date and we have time. Well, I don't need the time and date as we already have it down here. So I'll proceed to make some changes here. Proceed to right click on this remeter skin and select edit skin. Here, you want to scroll down all the way and delete everything except the meter day. Delete the meter date. Let's delete that and go up. I light all the way, then delete. Backspace. All right. After doing this, you just go up to file and click on save, then X on that, and right click right here on the skin and select refresh skin. Now we're left with just the day. It says Tuesday and it changes every day. But I think this is too small, so I'm just gonna make it bigger. And to do that, you're just going to scroll on your mouse. Just scroll up to make it bigger and down to make it smaller. I'm just going to adjust it right here in the middle. And just nice. Now we're going to add on back to a rain meter. We're going to close the month. And now we're going to expand the fountain of colors. Go down here to fountain of colors .ini, Then click load. Now, as you can see, as I speak, you can see some movement right here. I think this is too bogus. And guys, you can do this according to your taste. If you think it's good enough for you, you can leave it the way it is. But I'll proceed to make some changes right there. So I head back to Rain Meter, 
select options then you want to select styling.ini then click load so here we're going to make some adjustment right here and first you want to start with the general settings on the visualizer height i'm going to drag this back to 151 all right then rotation angle is going to go to uh 270 degrees now as we can see it has been moved to the left but we're not done yet we're going to head on to visualizer and do the following settings After doing that, we can now see that this visualizer is smaller and it's not everywhere, right? Next, we're going to go on to styling here. We're going to change the color and you have various colors to choose from. To change the color, all you have to do is just click on any of these boxes here and it's just going to change right away. As we can see here, whenever I click it, it changes color, all right? But I'm going to change this to black, so I'm going to click on more and I'm going to drag this all the way down okay and here we have it and but if you have a specific number which i'm going to do here for a specific tone you can change it click ok now as we can see this black visualizer on the left side right there we can now proceed to close this settings also we can x on this rain meter settings too well this is looking good already let me show you one more way to do this just in case you want to do something dynamic click on this rain meter skin and um, on the general, you're going to slide this rotation angle back to zero. This is another way to do this. And just in case you want to do the same setting with your icons on your desktop, you can place your icons on your desktop all around the right places and it's going to look fine all the way. And now I'm going to close this and just to let you know that these buttons work. We have sleep, we have shut down and here we have restart button and they're all functional. But that's it about this video guys, I hope you learned something new today. Feel free to share your thoughts at the comment section. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Also turn on your notifications so you get notified when I post content like this. Have a nice day and peace.